Hello, everyone, and welcome to Paula's Soapbox Live. I am so excited about tonight's guest. I've been a fan of her work for a number of years now, and I'm sure most of you will recognize her from General Hospital, Port Charles, As the World Turns, Days of Our Lives. She has also appeared on the Emmy-winning web series, The Bay, and she stars on the Emmy-nominated web series, Ladies of the Lake. Her latest movie is called To the Beat, and it is available now for purchase on digital download and DVD. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show, actress Marie Wilson. Hi, Marie. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody for their patience out there. Yes. We had <laughs> a few we, issues, but it's, few it's, yeah, we had a few issues, but we got it worked out, I think, so it's all good. Yeah. All good, all good. It all works out in the end. Yeah. <laughs> so, fashionably late. Fashionably late. Yes, of course. <laughs> so you began your acting career by way of modeling, and that, that was sort of by happenstance because your mother suggested taking a, a makeup class or something one, su one summer. Wow, you're good. Where'd you find that? <laughs> That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Yes, I, I was. I, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, I was. I was bored one summer. All my friends were going traveling out of town, and um, I had nothing to do. And my mom said, "Hey, why don't you take like a, a fun self improvement course? You know, you'll learn how to do makeup and stuff at, at your local modeling school." I thought, "Oh, that'll be fun. You know, the, I'll, I'll try it. Sure." And I did. It was um, connected to John Casablancas. Um, and after finishing the course, uh, I, I went to talk to the agency and they took me on and then I started from there. I started with the lead agency in Toronto. So did you have any like interest in modeling or anything at that point? No, it didn't even cross my mind. I just, I was just having fun, enjoying my summer and playing with makeup and clothes. And, um, and I thought I'd give it a shot. It was right there. Yeah. <laughs> and just one thing, you know, led to the next and I just kind of went with the flow and that's, that's kind of how my life goes. <laughs> I understand that. Well, I think your daughter is about the same age that you were when you started modeling. Yes. Yes. So and yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's dabbling in it a little bit now too. So it's oh, okay to see that because I'm like oh my god that's when I was doing all that so it's 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 fun actually so she wants to get involved in the entertainment industry she does she she wants to give it a shot um, she's she's been doing a few things modeling wise here and there um, she shot a clean and clear campaign um, just recently um, and uh, she had so much fun on that so um, yeah, we'll we'll see where where you know things take her. <laughs> well, you've uh, your own as I mentioned, your own Ladies of the Lake, and it's nominated for an Emmy this year. So congratulations! Oh, that. Thank you. I'm so proud of everyone. I know it's so a great excited. series. It's a great series. So for those that don't know about it yet, though, could you tell us a little bit about your character and about what the series is about? Uh, well, it's it's about these ladies that live in uh, this neighborhood, um, very well-to-do neighborhood, and they all have uh, different issues with uh, their relationships. And um, there is a few things that happen that brings them together and um, brings them closer together. <laughs> it's a thriller. It's a thriller. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> It's a, it's a little bit Desperate Housewives. It's got that kind of vibe. It does to, have that vibe, yes. Yeah. And um, we just finished shooting uh, season two, which is even more exciting and thrilling. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun ride. It's worth seeing, definitely. And some more uh, cast members have been added. Uh, yes, yes. Different cast members. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, yeah, some have... Um, not, I, I don't want to give too much away. It kind of gives too much away of what happens in the first season. So some aren't there because of the first season, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Well, in the first season is only four episodes, so it doesn't take that long to binge watch. 
So yeah. yes, and it's it, yeah, definitely you binge watch it because it just keeps you wanting to watch more and more. So it's yeah. it, it's great. It's a great series. So is this is season two just going to be four episodes again? Yes, and um, uh, three or four. They're still, I think, in the middle of editing right now. Um, but uh, it's it's uh, going to be even more thrilling and more of a ride. So I'm really excited about this season. Do we have a release date yet? I believe no, no, no definite release date, but it should be around summer. Summer, okay. And and something interesting, Sonia Blangiardo directs. Yes this and she also well she created and directs tainted dreams so yeah. uh, we love sonia sonia is is awesome awesome amazing to work with and i also worked with her on days of our lives so um she's very talented and it was such a pleasure to work with her well with everyone everybody's been it's been like the the dream cast it, and and everybody's been amazing yeah. michael caruso and barbie caruso have been amazing so yeah yeah. Um, well, let's talk for a minute about your movie to the beat. Um, your new, uh, it's like a, it's like a teen dance movie. Yes. <laughs> so how did you become involved in this project? It's, it's a comedy. Um, I was involved, uh, Jillian, um, who also worked on ladies of the lake. It's her, uh, directorial debut. So, um, she took on this <laughs> overwhelming project. Um, which is so impressive because I can't believe she took on a dance film <laughs> as her yeah. debut. Um, it's it's a handful, and she did it beautifully. Um, so we kind of connected through that, and um, I play the mom of the twins that are in uh, the dance competition, and it's just a, a fun, comedic dance family, just a fun ride. It's a well, great, great movie. Well, it's a good family film. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, familiar faces in the movie. There, there are a lot. There's, there's Eric Martsoff and Martha Madsen and Lily Melgar and um, Susan Deniker, who plays the dance teacher. Uh, the kids were amazing. Um, it, it's, it's worth watching, definitely. Yeah, and something else that I found interesting. I wasn't, I didn't know that she was in it, but. Um, Deborah Strang, I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. Um, she's Betsy Frank on General Hospital right now, so she's in oh. it too. <laughs> there you go, it, yeah. It, it's a whole family thing, staying yeah. in the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the, even though you don't dance in the movie, you do actually have a dance background. I do. I, I did um, 10 years of um, tap, ballet, and jazz. So, uh, yeah, I started when I was five till about 15. And then, you know, you're a teenager, so you <laughs> go a different direction. Yeah. Um, but I love dance. It, it's it's just, you know, it's, it's in my heart and in my soul. So I, I just uh, really love being a part of that. Yeah. So, um you you did that i guess well you started when you were five so you did that prior to your modeling so yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of helped me i guess um with my posture <laughs> as i'm leaning over here i should be standing up straight <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, uh yeah so uh that i think that gave me the confidence to go more more into the modeling direction and um yeah one thing led to the next yeah well we should mention port charles that was one of your first um on screen acting. Yes, yes, yeah. that was um, the, actually the first um, daytime drama I did. Um, and uh, it was a general hospital spinoff and yeah. um, we tried everything on the show. We did the vampires, we <laughs> did, you know, I think we started the whole vampire thing. Yeah, um, I think it was definitely ahead of its time. It, I think it was. I think it was. Um, and, you know, it was such a, a great little show and it was like a little inch in that could. And we all um, worked so hard together to make it happen. And unfortunately, it, it didn't make it. <laughs> but um, it was it was a, a great experience. But, but, you know, if it came out today, like maybe in web series format, I think it would be a huge hit because it had a cult following anyway. I think so. I think so. I think um, it had cutting edge storylines and um, 
just out of the box ideas and and um, great people that put their heart and soul in it. So um, who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe it could go that direction. Yeah, I would love that. I know a lot of people that would love that. It was a talented cast, you know, present was. present company included, obviously. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a college dorm because we were all starting and it was all new and fresh and uh, you know it created a, a great um kind of family connection you know because yeah. we were all working for the same thing to make it yeah you were all in the same boat yeah well i noticed you have a couple of uh other films coming out um baby obsession and uh disrupted so what can you tell us about those uh, Disrupted is uh, a thriller. Um, I believe they're they're wrapping up right now shooting. Um, so it it's going to be a while before that comes out. Uh, Baby Obsession uh, just finished shooting and wrapping on that. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the release date, so I'll keep everybody posted. Um, but they were both thrillers, actually. I'm heading, I'm heading that direction in the thriller <laughs> genre. <laughs> but it's fun. It was a lot of fun. And Baby Obsession, uh, Jordi Bilasuso, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, he's in the movie with you, right? Yes, yes. We don't have scenes together, unfortunately, yeah. like we did on days. But it was nice to see him on set and go, hey, a familiar face. Yeah. So he's a great guy. So you've been involved in a lot of charity work over the years, particularly involving animals. So are you doing anything right now that you want to talk about? Yes, that's always dear to my heart. Children and animals are my two things that I, <laughs> you know, I'm a sucker for. Um, I, I just helped my daughter complete uh, uh, her Gold Scout Gold Award where um, she helped out uh, the local uh, wildlife center here in Calabasas. And it just helps rescue animals that are in need and injured and then releases them back into the wild and um, a, a great organization, California Wildlife Center. And um, yeah, I, I, I just compl completed working with them, also helping her out with that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, is it true that you're also beginning to explore writing? I'm sorry? It, you're beginning to explore writing. You've signed with a literary agent. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Wow, you're well prepared. <laughs> um, yes, uh, Red Sofa Literary Agency. Um, they're amazing. Um, I am exploring that. Um, it's, you know, it's a whole different uh direction and um, a different perspective to take. So uh, it's, 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 um, it's taken me a little time, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what direction that goes, but um, working on it, just baby steps. Yeah. So are you wanting to like be an author? Or are you wanting to do like screenplays or? Um, I was thinking of actually writing something um, more of the fantasy genre. So um, I don't want to give too much away. It's a, it's a work in progress, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll <laughs> get it done. I don't, there's no timeline on that one, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll keep us posted on that. You, you actually are getting off easy tonight with, with my questions because you don't have much of a digital footprint. <laughs> so, oh, really? <laughs> I dig and I dig and I dig and I dig and I did not find much about you. Much you about, about you so. I'm really impressed, actually. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I found out what I could, but that's that's basically all of my questions, unless there's something that you would like to add. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, I I didn't. Uh, realize um you know it's what was out there that. considering how long it took us to get started <laughs> <laughs> i know um yeah, gosh i don't know I, are there any other questions out there i can people type in questions i don't yeah, know i opened the chat room but so far no one has if anybody is out there you know and you have a question for marie feel free to ask Yeah, I have a chat. After, after an hour of waiting, they're like, we're, you know, we're, you know what? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Pong. I'm just happy well, we got it going and online. That was great. Well, yeah, I, too, I, I hate that it took so long. You know, I, like I said, it's it's one of those things. Sometimes you get logged in right away and it's fine and everything's, you know, goes smoothly. And lesson learned. Now I know. Yeah, yeah. now you know. So hopefully you will come back. <laughs> you yeah. won't be scared away. Yeah. No, no, come back no, on. Do it now. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on top of it. Well, we want to remind everybody that Ladies of the Lake is on Amazon Prime. Um, and you do have to have either Amazon Prime or you do have to pay to watch the show. Um, but Prime does these free, like, 30-day trials. Yes, yes. And it do. doesn't take long to watch it at all. No, um, I did and it you did, a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's like like 80 minutes maybe or something. So yes. it's it's not it's it doesn't take long at all. Um and to the beat is available on DVD now and digital download. So yes. they're, they're doing great. They're um also on iTunes. Um yeah. and they were um I, I think number twenty five in the, the kids and um teens um category, which they're just doing great. And they were trending on Amazon, so I'm really proud of them. Jillian yeah. amazing. Yeah, and for those that don't know, Jillian Claire played, she used to play Abby on Days of Our Lives. So there again, there's that Days connection. Uh, it's so. that reason of separation kind of thing. Right, yeah. The, yeah, the movie, I watched the movie the other night. It, it actually reminded me a little bit of um, the movie Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Do you remember that movie? No. You don't? <laughs> you need to watch it. <laughs> Helen no, Hunt, watch the right after the off, I'll go yeah. watch it. <laughs> Helen Hunt, Sarah Jessica Parker, um, who else was in that movie? Jonathan Silverman was in it, um, and Shannon Doherty was in it. So, okay, well, I have to watch it then. Yeah, that will it, be my it, it reminds me a little of that with the whole dance competition thing, except the the younger teenage kids look like they're about twenty five or thirty. So it's one of those <laughs> kind of. Well, our, our girls are really young, and, and uh, it, yeah, they did an, an amazing job. They I was so impressed. An job. There was a, a very talented group of young ladies on that movie. Oh, my God. I was, I was really impressed. Yeah. Yeah, they, they kept me laughing, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, we mentioned that Ladies of the Lake is also nominated for a Daytime Emmy, and I believe that those will be streaming online again this year. So um, yes. I'll, I'll put up links to all that when we find out for sure if they're going to yes. stream. Probably be on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, if I had to guess. So, I, so I'm yeah. not sure yet, so I don't want to say unless yeah. I'm positive. But yeah, uh, I if you posted. Well, posted. I think if they do stream online, that's probably the direction they'll go again. Hopefully there won't be any hiccups with that either because I remember last year there was quite a few problems with that. So. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully it won't be that bad, but you know, I know oh. how it is. So. <laughs> we're, we're prepared this time. So we're good. We're good. Right. Yeah. Well, Marie, thank you so much for coming on. I hate that it was so short after you waited such oh a God. long time no, to get. Not at all. Not at all. All good. <laughs> all good. It was great. And I'm glad we connected and I'm glad we made this work and um, we'll have to do it again. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. Well, maybe when one of your other movies comes out or, you know, something, we'll we'll do something else. So yep. thank you so much. I'll have this posted online okay. later and uh, you can share it. So thank you. all okay. right. Thank you. You have a good rest of the night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.